Hello, this is Eduardo Quesada Escandón, broadcasting from Los Angeles, California, in the United States. We are enjoying the uh, Summer Olympics coming from uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We are now on Syndicated News and uh, we are going to discuss a little bit about these uh, games that are becoming, uh, in uh, a way, uh, exciting every day. As the standings go, we have the United States has, as of now, three gold medals, total of 12. In second place is China with uh, three gold and a total. And Australia is in third place with uh, three gold medals with a total of six six uh, uh, medals overall. But we would like to talk a little bit about what we're doing here while we watch the games uh, in our in our monitor over there. We're watching this camera and I wanted to show you how we are setting up this broadcast. There's swimming competitions, of course, depending on where you are in the world. You are probably watching the in the daytime. By the way, Australia in third place. That's what I wanted to talk about. We have a person that we would like to mention. It's a girl that plays rugby. Her name is Kayla McAllister. And this is her. She plays extremely well, and I think by what people have told me, I missed that game when uh, um, New Zealand played against the United States, and uh, New Zealand won for uh, uh, with a score of five to nothing. I understand, and I do have a little video here so you can see how she plays the game. Of course, for those who live in the United States, um, it's uh, it's played almost like American football, except in uh, in rugby or rugby, como le decimos en español. No, uh, they don't have any protection like helmets or or shoulder pads or anything. But let me show you this little video that I picked up from the internet and we can see Kayla McAllister play like no one else. She can tackle, she can run, she can uh, pass like that one and look there she there she is tackling and it is amazing how what uh, what she can do in this uh, game and by the way uh, we understand also that uh, she's gonna be playing in a game tomorrow against England and it should be an exciting game so that is Kayla McAllister so congratulations to her and everybody in the team that is involved in this game so we wish them good luck tomorrow it's already tomorrow in some uh, parts of the world but since they're in Brazil it's only a difference of uh, two hours or three hours from now. So here are the, uh, the standings, United States in first place, China in second place and Australia in third place and they all have three gold medals total as, uh, as it is right now. Now I would like to invite you to visit our uh, webpage, snn.bz, where uh, you can follow uh, you can follow the games, you can follow the news, you can uh, also uh, broadcast. I mean, uh, request anything you want that we can cover. So this is what snn.bz has right now. It's uh, updated daily, and uh, that's what we have. So this is this is all the breaking news we have right now. We want you to 
uh, we want to thank you. And also, I also would like to mention that if you are new to YouTube, there is a place at the bottom of YouTube where you can change or you can uh, press the button that says CC for closed caption. And no matter what language I'm speaking, it will be translated into your own language. For example, I'm going to change to Spanish right now. Para las personas que son nuevas en el sistema de YouTube, hay un botón al fondo de, de la pantalla con las letras CC, que quiere decir uh, closed caption en inglés, pero son como subtítulos que usted puede eh, cambiar al idioma de usted. Si yo estoy hablando en español, usted lo puede leer o escuchar, bueno, sí, más bien leer porque son subtítulos en su propio idioma. Así que muchas gracias por acompañarnos en esta transmisión. Vamos a ver. Domo arigato, merci beaucoup, gamsaha mira, thank you, grazie en italiano, creo que así se pronuncia. Pero muchas gracias a todos. Les saludo muy cordialmente Eduardo Quesada Escandón y visítenos en la página de SNN.BZ. Hasta pronto.